Okay, nothing too exciting tonight. Um, just continuing on with the uh, Atari Lynx 2 recap. Um, it's not terribly exciting to watch because you get to keep pulling every cap out and replace it with one of the same um, capacity. So the uh, capacitor is always rated in farads, milli, micro, nano, pico farads. Um, when you're replacing the electrolytics, the only thing you have to be mindful of is the polarity of them. Because if you hook up with electrolytic backwards, it'll release hydrogen and eventually it'll pop, um, which is not good. And if you ever look at a board, actually looking at a at your board, let's see, you always see there's a little positive, a little plus there, a little plus there, and that this is, t indicates what's the positive side. Electrolytic capacitors always have a stripe on the negative, so you can. Uh, know how to connect them properly as long as you don't hook them up backwards you'll be just fine uh, so now i'm going through now is i just have to go through all these little caps here and pop them out and replace them um also this video will probably be really short tonight because uh, watching somebody replace electrolyte capacitors is not very exciting uh what i will do eventually is um when i get to the some of the surface mount items like a lot of things are not surface mount. There's a few surface mount replacements like the voltage regulator and a couple of transistors all need to be um, Are all surface mount. I'll show you how to do that when I get there, but for now I'm just going through the uh, Straightforward replacing all the all the capacitors on the board here So uh, like I said, it's gonna be a real short one tonight. Nothing too thrilling um, And oh uh, is a when I when I do cap replacements I don't cut the leads off until the very end, so that way I know if I'm I can figure out if I'm missing a cap or not. Because if you get really good at soldering, it gets really hard to tell what's been replaced and what's not been replaced. Because a lot of these are actually hand soldered originally, so if you get good at soldering, sometimes it's hard to tell. You'll see sometimes you'll see some of the flux of the board, but it gets really hard to see after a while. So that's about it for tonight. Real short one.